Hi, this is Gary Fong, and I am in my, uh, this is part of my Ugly Room series, I'm in my barn, and what I've got here is I'm going to do a really spectacular portrait, a real, real vivid red background, and um, a very, very focused light. So what I have here is, I have my model Jade here, and she is standing in front of a really plain barn wall. Okay, and then there's the barn, and then around here I've got one light sphere collapsible snoot on a stand and my Nikon D7000 camera. And that's basically it. And um, I've got this camera, this flash over here, set to TTL minus two. There's other videos that'll show you how to do that. And then um, that would be exposure group B. And then this one up on the camera is regular TTL. So that'll give us our regular exposure. And, um, and so this is, this is what we've got. So this will be our photo. I'm gonna turn my flash unit off and then we'll do one photo on um, just regular available light. So you can see what, what it would look like if we shot with available light. Okay, so that's that. Yeah, I know it's 1 25th of the second at f1.4, but I'm at ISO 100 and we're in a fairly dark barn. Now I'm gonna turn the flashes on. I'm gonna put it on manual mode. And the reason why I'm gonna put it on manual mode is so that I can control uh, how much ambient light figures into the photo. So if I take this up to say f4, it's pretty safe to say that if I shoot uh, without the flashes, in fact, I'll show you that. I'm, let me turn the flashes off, and then I'll take one picture, and you'll see how dark it is. Okay, so, I mean, it's almost completely dark. Let me do another photo at F2, and I'll show you. This is available light. Okay, so now she's starting to come back into the photo, and then if I... I'm still at 1 250th of a second, so I'll just take it down to 1... See that right there, 1 1 25th at f1.4? And you can see that I'm now able to bring the subject back in with strictly available lighting. But what we want to do is we want to cancel the available lighting. We want that to disappear. So I'll just go ahead and test it here. And I, I'll bet you it starts at f2.8 at 1 250th of a second. There, she's gone. Okay, so now that means that I have no available light whatsoever. And that's what we want. Because we want to have nothing but flash hitting my subject. So. Now we're at uh, 250 the second, F28, watch this. Oh, the flashes didn't go. That's because I didn't turn them on. This is complete unedited footage. Okay, here we go, and wow, that's freaking awesome. Okay, let's do, we'll take it up to F4, and then I'm gonna take the rear down. Right now it's at minus uh, two stops off of TTL. And so I'm going to make it minus three. And the reason why I want the rear to be uh, that color, uh, I, I want to make it darker, is because I want to have the color deeper. Let me see something. We are off center. I'll move forward that way just a tiny bit. Yep, stop right there. Let's see. And I've got to move. OK, and that's where we have our color. I'm going to take that rear and even go Oops, that's a light B. Let's see, select. Okay, and now I want to show you something also on my menu. What I'm going to do is we've, we've got the picture control on Vivid, and we want it on Vivid because we want, really want to crank up that red. So let's do this again. And there's that. Now I'm actually going to take it and I'm going to uh, make it even darker just to show you what happens when we change the available light. We're going to change that amount of that, uh, the background by simply, as you, you're seeing my exposure change. So I'm going to go back up to here and go like that. Okay, now that is, okay, good. And open the shoulders more, good. But turn your hips that way. Yeah, and then shoulders this way, good. Yeah, let's go for a winning shot. And I believe that's it. I think we have it. That's freaking awesome. Let me just make sure that we're in perfect focus. I hope you're focusing for me, because I've been in this boat before. Okay, little feller, focus. There you go, and let's see. Okay, one more. 
and I'm just going to not trust Mr. Camera and I'm going to focus because I trusted him last time and he gave me some out of focus pictures. Okay, that's nice. Perfect. Here we go. And there's our winning shot. Let me take light A. Light A is a little bit hot. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it down uh, just off of TTL. Perfect. And I'll do it one more. Take the rear down. Minus three on the rear now to get that really deep red. I'm going to have you lower down just about, <laughs> there you go, perfect like that. And let's get that thing beautifully centered. And there is my shot. And there you have it. Ugly barn, beautiful portraits. Okay, so now I've just put in a green tab and we'll do that real quick. So I got a green tab in, everything else is the same. And we are all centered. Perfect. Good. That's, God, that's just so nice. On this one, just lower down just about. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Let me get you in. Nice. Okay. That's great. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, so for this shoot, I'm using a Nikon D7000 with a Sigma 50mm f1.4 lens. And I'm at ISO 100, and you'll see uh, that it's uh, 2 50th of a second f3.5, shooting on manual. Now, this, there's uh, a couple parts here. They're all numbered out here. So the first part is I've got a pair of Nikon SB900s, a Joby rollerball flash with which to connect the hot shoe to this light stand. This is a Monfrotto uh, portable light stand. This right here is a Gary Fong Lightsphere collapsible snoot. And right here is the red gel from the uh, Gary Fong color gel kit. And this is the uh, grid part of the power snoot. So on flash number two, I've got it set for TTL minus two with the red gel and this kit right here is pointing at the wall. The one that's pointing at the subject is set on regular TTL. This is the uh, 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 SB900, a Joby, the stand, and then this is a Gary Fong Lightsphere collapsible snoot with grid. By the way, if you use uh, coupon code YouTube20, you'll save 20% on the store with the purchase of this. And any of the Gary Fong Lightsphere uh, products now comes with a dedicated DVD for Nikon, Sony, Pentax, Olympus, or Canon. Mm -hmm.